if you want to make an interactive choice board which links to videos either on your computer or on YouTube for a learner who uses switches to access technology it's possible to do that using PowerPoint. This particular example here is linked to YouTube videos, so online videos, so you would need to be online um, to play it and you can use either one or two switches um, in order to make choices about the videos. It's set up just now for two switch scanning, so I'm going to show you how that would work. The first switch, the move switch, is set to the space bar and that's going to move that red scanning box along to the next picture of each of the covers of the books there. And the second switch is set to left mouse click. That's the choose switch and that's going to pop up a slide which has a video of the author of each of these books behind it reading their story aloud. So if I press my first switch, you'll see that that red scanning box will move over to the station mouse and so on for each of the switch presses. And then if I press my second switch, the choose switch connected to the left mouse click, the video will pop up on the screen and start playing. And the same switch, pressing that again, that choose switch will close it down and take you back to the start where you can carry on moving and choosing with the two switches. So if you wanted to make your own one of those, what you'd need to do is have a blank PowerPoint presentation, have three videos in mind which you might want to use with your learner. These, For this particular example, they're going to be YouTube videos as well. The first thing you want to do is insert pictures which relate to the video so your learner can see the choices that they've got to make. So I'm going to go up to insert picture and I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to do just three choices this time. So this is three different author videos that we want to be able to link to in this PowerPoint. I'm going to select the first one, put it on the page and go back up to insert picture for the next one. And the same insert picture for the third. In the example PowerPoint we just watched, you'll have noticed there was a clicking noise every time the slide transitioned and the red scanning box moved over. In order to make that happen, we want to go up to Transitions and over on the right hand side where it says Sound, at the minute it says No Sound, we want to take it down to Click so that each time the page transitions to the next one, there's that clicking noise. Because there are three possible choices in this switch scanning video PowerPoint, we need to have these three pictures here on this slide on duplicate copies. So I am going to put in another two. So we've got three in total because we've got three choices in here. Once you've got your choices here, we want to make slides, that's what these three blank ones are, for the relevant author videos related to each of these books. And to do that, we're going to insert an online video into each of the slides. So the first book on the left here is Sophie Johnson, Unicorn Expert. So I'm going to go to a video of Sophie Johnson, Unicorn Expert, which is on YouTube. You'll see that I've started the video and I've paused it at 27 seconds where this title page appears and that's where I want my video to start playing in my PowerPoint. So to make sure that happens you click on share and you'll see there's a checkbox here that says start at 27 seconds. I'm going to tick that and 27 seconds is added on to here. I'm going to copy this to the clipboard and then go back to my PowerPoint 
and insert a video. I want an online video and this is where I paste in that URL which is on the clipboard. So just right click to paste it in. Click insert and there's the first video. The second book going left to right is the station mouse. So I'm going to go to the next slide and go back to YouTube and do exactly the same. I've got my video paused at 26 seconds. So I click on share, start at 26, copy, then back to PowerPoint, insert video, online video, right click, paste, insert, and there's video number two. And then finally, the third one, which is the prince and the witch and the thief and the bears. This time it's going to start at 42 seconds. So click share, start at 42, copy, and then back to PowerPoint, insert video, online video, right click and paste. So that's our three videos which are on the slideshow. But what we want to make sure is that the only thing that can happen once they've started playing is that that second switch, that choose switch, when it's pressed a second time, once the video has already played, um, it shuts it down completely. So there's two things we need to do. The first thing we want is to make sure that the video starts playing automatically whenever that slide is selected. So I've, I've clicked to highlight the video, I'm right clicking and I'm going up to start here and I'm going to check automatically. And I'm going to go through and do the same for all of the videos. Right click, start automatically, click on the video, right click, up to start automatically. Now that we've done that, if we add an action button over the top, that will mean that we can close that video down just by pressing our second switch once. So to do that, we're going to insert an action button, which you can find in the shapes. So if we go to insert and go to shapes and go all the way down to the bottom, you'll see that you've got these action buttons. We want a blank one for the purposes of this. So I'm going to click insert action button blank and then I'm going to draw a giant button all over the top of my video. You'll see it goes blue in the background and a page pops up saying um, what you want it to do next. We want to hyperlink this. We want to link it back to the very, very first slide so that when that second switch is pressed, it closes down and the whole sequence goes back to the start and you can start scanning again. So here we can select first slide, click OK. Now, it's a blue button. We can't see what's on there. We want to make it transparent. So to do that, I've got it. I've cl left click to highlight it. I'm going to right click format shape and you'll see the shape format options pop up on the right here. Just click on fill and here you'll see there's a transparency slider bar. At the minute it's completely blue but I'm going to slide it along to the right to make it completely transparent and invisible. So the button's there, it's just we can't see that button when we're in the PowerPoint and we're using it but we know that it's going to work. I'm going to do the same for the next video. So click on there go up to insert, shapes, down to action buttons, along to blank button, draw the giant blank button, hyperlink it to the first slide and then make it transparent. And same for the third one, insert, shape, down to action button, blank button, draw the giant button, 
hyperlink it to the first slide, click OK, and make it transparent. So now we've got six slides in total, one for each of the choices that you could make to pop up to these videos. What we need to do now is link these three slides to these three videos. So we want the first slide here to link to the Sophie Johnson Unicorn Expert, Expert slide, which is number four. But before we do that, we want to add the red border, the scanning button to each of these three slides. So I'm going to click on the Sophie Johnson picture here, double click, and you'll see up at the top that a menu for picture border appears. I want to have that red scanning box round the outside, but you'll see that that's not wide enough. So we can quite simply make it wider by going down to weight and down to six points. So there's our first red scanning box. For the second slide, I'm going to put the scanning box around the station mouse. So I've highlighted the picture, double click, picture border red, down to weight, put it to six, and exactly the same for the third one. Double click the prince and the witch and the thief and the bears, a red border, which I want to be thicker. So now we've got one, two, three. And all we need to do now is link this Sophie Johnson Unicorn Expert box to this video here on number four. So it's the same as we did with the videos. We're going to use an action button. So we go up to insert, shape, down to action buttons, select blank, draw the big action button over all of the images on the screen, hyperlink to, this time we're not hyperlinking it to the home slide, we want to hyperlink it to number four because that's where the related video is. So we just go down to slide, select slide number four, you get a little preview of it there so you can check that you're on the right one, click OK, OK, and as before, transparent. So let's do the same for the other two videos. Here we are with the station mouse, we're going to go to insert, shapes, action button, blank, draw the button, hyperlink it to slide number five, because that's the one that has the station mouse video, click OK, make it transparent. And then finally, the prince and the witch and the thief and the bears, insert, shape, down to action buttons, blank, draw the button, hyperlink it to slide number six, make it transparent. So now, we have a PowerPoint show which will give us the appearance of switch scanning whenever we press that first switch, the one that's linked to the space button. So let's just have a look at that. I'm going to go up to start from beginning. And if I press the first switch, you'll see it moves along to that first image. Press it again. We're along to the third choice, and if I press the second switch, the choose switch, we'll see that the video pops up and begins playing, and I can press it again to close it down. There's one more thing we need to do to get this working absolutely as we want it to, because you'll notice if I press the switch again, once it's gone from the prince and the witch and the thief and the bears, it actually toggles just to the next the next slide in the slideshow. We don't want it to do that. We want it to loop back round to this first slide again so that we've just got a continual loop of our scanning selection choices going along. So to do that, we need to set up 
our custom slideshow. It's quite simple to do. We just go up to this slideshow tab here and then we click on custom slideshow, custom shows and we want to make a new custom show. The only slides that we want to appear in this slideshow on the loop are one, two and three because we've got three video choices. So we check one, two and three and add them to the custom slideshow. Click OK and then click Close. Now to get the slideshow to loop constantly, if we go to set up slideshow, we can check this box which says loop continuously until escape, but we want to make sure that we've checked this box which says custom show. So the custom show that we've made is going to loop continuously until we hit the escape button. So let's have a look at what that is going to appear like on the screen. So I'm going to go back to slideshow and this time if I keep pressing the, the first switch you'll see that it just goes back to that first box until I go and I make my choice with my second switch, the two choose switch and the video starts playing and I can close it down by pressing that choose switch again. And to come out of that I just hit the escape key. If you have a learner who uses just one switch and you want to operate the slideshow with one switch scanning over your choices, in this case the three choices, it's possible to do that just by changing how the transitions in the slideshow work. So if you go up to this transition tab here, you'll see that it says advanced slide on mouse click. So that's what's happening when we press our one switch at the minute. But we can change that to after three seconds. So now the slideshow is going to advance automatically after three seconds on that slide. We want to do the same for the second page and we want to do the same for the third page. So essentially for as many choices, as many scanning boxes as you have in your slideshow. So now if I go into slideshow mode, you'll see that that red scanning box will move every three seconds. And in order to make my choice, in order to the learner can just press their switch, which is set to left click. And there we go, the video plays. We can close it with that switch and it will just automatically go back to the start and keep scanning around all the choices. It's important to mention that whether you're using one or two switches, you need to make sure that the mouse cursor is just sits on the left hand side of your screen here, just to make sure that that one switch press to open the video and close the video works. If your cursor is off screen, it won't work. So I would just suggest that you have it on the left, the right hand side of the screen there, just as a prompt and um, so that every time your learner accesses the slideshow, it's really simple for them to use either one or two switches to make their choices on the screen.